ANZ, the bank that's been getting to know New Zealanders for 165 years, brings you Paul Holmes on Prime. Getting to know Tonight it was One Tree Hill and then it was Nun Tree Hill and yesterday it was One Tree Hill again, briefly. And then today, Nun Tree Hill again. Well, now it's one beautiful tree hill uh, again because I planted a tree up there today. Also tonight, peace breaks out at Waitangi. What's going on? We ask Pastor Brian Tamaki. Cherie Blair speaks to us and Jonah Lomu on Keeping the Dream Alive. Good evening. Well, thank you so much for joining us and uh, for giving us a go. Can I start the program by thanking you very much for joining us? First thing I want to tell you about the program is this. We want you to take part in this program. During the programs, there are, there are two ways you can actually do this. Actually, during the program, while we're going to air. First of all, let me tell you about texting. You can text us during the interviews or the, or the, or the taped items with a comment or a question, and we might uh, flick your text up on screen, you know, if your text is so decent and clever and funny and so forth. You text in the word Paul, followed by your message to 8228. So that's the first way in which you can contact us. Or you can free phone us. We might put your call to air. Uh, certainly we might put your call to air to uh, speak to a guest or to answer a question, ask a question of a guest. You call 0800 2 Prime. There's the number there, 0800 277 463. So, you see, it was quite a well-received uh, sort of a thing. Now, uh, that was this afternoon. I don't know that the rain did come, but that was this afternoon. And our reporter, Selena Teron, is live from One Tree Hill with our tree right behind a very handsome tree. I think you'll agree, uh, Selena. Yes, yes, it is indeed, Paul. Um, everyone that we've spoken to up here today doesn't want to see this tree pulled down. In fact, there's been a couple of people up here today um, actually watering the tree. And these people here behind me who are from Tauranga say that they'll even camp the night up here just to see the, key, the tree kept safe. Just to see that uh, no ill becomes it. And so it has been watered because I was very worried about it when we planted it. Really, it's, it's, you know, it's really quite dry up there, but I thought the rain might come. So it looks as if it's been well watered, Selena? Yes, yes, it looks as if it's been very well watered. There's actually like a little um, sort of puddle around it. Yes, cool. Good on you, me old mate. Thank you very much indeed for that. Uh, let's go. Democracy. Let's go to the phone. Hello, Les. Hello there, Paul. How are you? A, a very good, thank you. Good to see you back. Uh, thank you. One thing we like, like someone like you. Yes, With your guts. You know, that's right. <laughs> no, They're going to take them a lot to legally pull that one out. Do you think so? Because it's over two metres. I understand it's 2.018. That's well, right. We'll see what happens. Peter, hello. Yeah, here you go, Paul. You like the tree? Yeah, I love it, mate. Better tell me there's something back up there. Next on the program, big presence at Waitangi for the Destiny Church are the political ambitions of Pastor Brian Tamaki. He's next. By all accounts, it was the most peaceful Waitangi day in many a year. And the lasting image of the weekend has to be Don Brash sitting with Tama Iti and, of course, both of them sitting with Pastor Brian Tamaki. What does Brian want? Brian is with us live. But remember, you can text us uh, if you've got a question for Brian. You can call us with a comment or question for Brian. Why was it so peaceful, do you think? You give vision. Yeah. OK, let's talk about that shortly. Marie, hello, Marie. Question for Brian. Question for Brian? I'd just like to know how come he ends up wearing better designer clothes than anybody I've ever known, and for a man of God, he should be thinking of his own parish. Well, hang on, a man of God can be spunky. A, a man of God can be spunky. Can't a man of God be spunky? That's a beautiful uh, jacket, if I, if I may say so. Yeah. Well, it looks like his clothes are more expensive than yours. <laughs> well, they probably are. I think Paul can, uh, has got enough uh, um, wealthy to don't buy what he likes. So don't worry about me. Don't worry about that. There is a feeling that you're a little bit too worldly to be a preacher, you know, talking direct to well, God. We, well, we need to change that because why? what's the uh, stereotype that you think that I should be dressed in rags? Straight from the airport to Starship, with our Prime Minister always just a step behind, security for Cherie Blair, or sometimes Booth, depending on which hat she's wearing, is very tight indeed. In the midst of all this, as we shuffle down the corridors of the cranial facial surgery ward, I get the chance to put a few questions to her. Can I ask you, you've obviously extremely experienced at this sort of thing, do you still find it affecting every time you come oh, in and see kids like this? Absolutely. Yeah. I think to see any, any child who's, who's suffering and, and to see the parents who are anxious and yet very much wanting to be positive, it's always so, especially as a parent myself, because it could so ha easily happen 
to it anybody. It makes you very grateful, doesn't it? It does. It does, especially the, the little child who was injured in the road traffic accident. Well, the world waits for the comeback of Jonah Lomu at uh, Twickenham in June, when the Jonah Lomu 15 will do battle with the Martin Johnson 15. But, of course, suddenly, after the kidney transplant uh, late last year, which was dramatic enough, another health scare today. Jonah had a bone spur on his ankle removed. Now, remember, you can text us your comment on the interview. We'll put it on the screen all the way through. Anyway, I sat down with Jonah Lomu and we talked bone spurs. As you do. It's just like...